Hello everyone, welcome to the Splendor tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create quick and easy decal textures in cycles. First of all, what are decal textures? It's um, when you want to have some, let's say, writings or graffiti on a wall or some sort of symbol uh, like a warning sign. And normally you could always, with a simple object, UV unwrap this and create a complete texture. But if I just want to have something on a wall, let's say... Um, let's say this is my wall right here. And I want to have some writing on there or some dirt or whatever. First of all, we are going to use the node textures and as a base color for just for our wall, just a simple gray. And the way we are going to create a texture, uh, the decal texture, is to use a UV project modifier. And to use this, we need two things. First of all, we need a UV map. And I will call this decal because we need to know which name it is to use it later in the node compositor. And we need something as a projector. And as a projector, I'm going to use a plane. Move it backwards. And from this plane on, it's going to project the texture onto the wall exactly where the plane is and it should also use the dimensions of the plane. Now we're going to apply our UV project modifier. We use the decal map. We use, let me call this plane projector just so I can easily find it. I mean, okay, here I only have three objects, but later on, when you have bigger projects, you might get into trouble if you don't do that. We leave the image empty for now, and instead, with the wall selected, go into the node editor. And we need a image texture. And here we're going to open up our decal texture. Let's say I want this and add the color into a diffuse shader. Mix these together and as a factor we are going to use the alpha map of our image. It has to be an alpha mapped image and of course right now we will probably see absolutely nothing. Okay, we're already seeing something. But right now it's just randomly mapped and not mapped from our projection map. Uh, or map via our projector and we need which one was it input a value input no not value it was attribute let me maximize this and as the attributes name we choose the name of our UV texture. You remember we called it decal. And now we can use this vector right here. And that hasn't changed anything yet. But Let me go into solid view. Uh, with the plane selected, if we move this around, we can see it moves the texture. 
but we don't want a repeating pattern and to do this we use the vector mapping put it in here between and we use you can see this min and max minimum zero maximum one and that will make sure it only gets repeated once and what we're seeing right here is some little problem because this texture uh, these yellow stripes where are they coming from well this texture that i used the image that i used the stripes actually reach the border of the image and when that happens it just stretches whatever is at the border out and repeats it indefinitely if i use an image texture where that's not the case where it's just the image we can see it happens uh, it works like it should and if i oops rotate this projector and scale it you can see i now have this a8 on the wall and a little problem is on the back side of the wall we have the mirrored image but if you just want to quickly add some graffiti or something like that onto a wall or let's say i could also add let's say some sort of dirt map like this If you quickly want to add something and you know that you're not going to see the backside of the wall in your animation or in your image, you can really, I find this technique of using a projected UV map really useful. And I hope you find it useful as well. Once again, we have the normal color that we want to have for a wall right here. We input an image texture into another diffuse shader. We mix them and we use the alpha of the image as a factor value for the mix shader. And in order to get the mapping right, we use the decal texture, input it into a mapping node to have some more control. and the decal uv map is overridden by a pro uv project modifier that is set to use the projector to create the image coordinate and the nice thing about this is if you you could theoretically also have multiple UV maps and if you call them differently you can use different projectors and add multiple decals onto one object. That's all for now. I hope you found this useful. Goodbye and happy blending.